All right, so this is our Tesla powered 2000 Ford F450 uh, four wheel drive dually. Um, we've got it together, we've got everything uh, pretty much connected and installed. And we're, we're ready to test drive it, but before we do, we're going to make a quick video showcasing uh, just how, how it operates. And uh, so we're going to showcase uh, the linkage between the uh, wheels, transfer case, uh, drive shaft, motor, inverter, controller, batteries, etc. So uh, before we uh, go through and actually make it operate, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough to show you uh, all the components, how they relate to each other, and then uh, then we'll make a video of it oper uh, operating. Now I know it's a little bit out of uh, sync with uh, uh, how we were normally posting our videos of. Uh, you know, the, the construction of the truck, but we skipped a few steps because we got so engrossed in the building this thing that we haven't had time to go back and edit and post videos. So it, it'll, like I said, it'll be a little bit out of sync, but you'll see future videos with the uh, battery box being constructed, uh, the cooling system, the plumbing, the plumbing for the, the all the components to be th uh, thermal controlled and, and also, uh, you know, everything else in operation as we put together. But, You'll see it as it comes. But for now, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of this thing. So, so this is a Gigavac switch. Uh, it's already on. And uh, what this does, it splits this battery pack in half to uh, cut the circuit. So that way it's, it's uh, not putting out any juice, any current, should I say. That uh, ties, this is the main traction pack. This is what gives this whole truck its, its, uh, its power. Now, this is our DC to DC converter. This uh, gets its power from here, which is 400 volts, and this steps the voltage down to 13.6 uh, volts, so we can charge the battery or keep all of the 12 volt components operative. This is our high, vo high voltage junction box. This is our low voltage junction box. This is everything that's uh, 12 volts. This is everything that's 400 volts. Uh, you're, you'll see uh, two uh, wires coming out which is, uh, I know this one, this 400 volt one, well, this is coming in, I believe. Actually, I'm sorry, this is coming in, and that's coming in. That's your hot and your ground. And then uh, I know that this one going out goes to our uh, heater, which is down in there. That heater heats the batteries and the cab. And then we have a Tesla splitter, which uh, takes that and it divides up the, uh, the hot glycol to send it to either the cab, the batteries, or both, or whatever, whatever is required. Uh, so this side is our, they're both cooling sides, but this side here cools the battery and the cab. This side cools the motor and the inverter. And uh, there are the pumps that uh, pump the glycol, that pumps it to the cab, that one down there pumps it to the motor. And this one here works in conjunction with the motor to heat the uh, cab and batteries. Uh, let's see, that's about it under the hood. And you come under the bottom here. Uh, sorry for the shaky video, but this is kind of raw footage. All right, you come under the bottom here and you'll see these are your motor, I mean, your battery chargers. That's your plumbing going to the battery chargers to cool them when they're in operation. This is your uh, DC side, which goes to the, uh, which goes to the batteries. This is the side coming in, your AC side or uh, high voltage DC side, or, which is a uh, fast charging DC side, which comes from the connection, which is down there in the end, which, is, which goes to your Tesla uh, connector. And uh, let's see, this is your drive shaft, as you can see. Let me get this light a little bit better. All right. This is your drive shaft, this is your uh, transfer case. The transfer case then comes up and connects to the uh, motor. This is the Tesla motor. This is our homemade uh, uh, strain relief box for the uh, AC side coming from the inverter. There's your inverter right there, which has its own mount and separate cooling lines. That's your, uh, that's just your encoder, your shielded encoder, which goes and and communicates with your inverter so it can tell this thing what to do. And that's actually the Tesla motor, the inverter. This is your battery box right there, that green box there. 
And then, uh, and this here is your high voltage line that, well, I'm sorry, your DC line that goes to charge from your charger, runs along the frame rail, and then it goes up into the battery box. So that's that, that's the underside of this vehicle. Now, we're gonna go inside. So now you come inside, <clears throat> this is our dashboard we've made with, it's basically just a, uh, a pallet. This is an open pallet for whatever type of uh, analog gauges or even digital gauges that we'd wanna put up here. But with this EV Controls TC1, T1C motor controller, uh, this has pretty much all the display that you need. Now here, these are your, these are your uh, gear selectors. If you look at this, this just shows basically how it works. Both up front low, both down back is high. This is for front and rear wheel drive. So the way this is set up, once you put this in gear, right now, this is high, uh, you don't need to do anything. Uh, if you need to go in reverse, it's all controlled from the screen. So what I'm gonna do is, so we got our power on from the, uh, from the traction pack. Once I turn this switch forward, this is gonna come on, you're gonna hear two clicks. The two clicks you hear are your, um, uh, your uh, connectors, your uh, high voltage contact relays. Once those are connected and it goes through the pre-charge resistor, then the power is up and this thing is ready to be operational. So, key's gonna go forward. You hear two clicks. Those are the two clicks. That means your, uh, your negative and positive uh, high, uh, high voltage relays are uh, engaged. Now, we can't make this operate just yet. What we have to do is, because this, there's no load on this thing, this thing is operated under its, uh, you'll see here, as you go to the traction control, see it says normal. If this was normal and, and I went to operate this, this thing would just quit on me. And it would quit because it doesn't detect any resistance and it would it would feel that it's uh, slipping so it would it would uh, take the voltage away from the motor so that you don't spin yourself out of control that's part of its protection so you go to dyno uh, motor selection rear acceler acceleration select which is normal and we'll go back and now we're ready to go and drive so go to drive here's your drive screen now uh, this is ready to go I've got set on zero region because I don't have my uh, charger hooked, co connected yet with my charge controller. So all this is going to do is spin. So like I said, this is already in two-wheel drive, right? Uh, or I didn't engage the front wheel. This is just the rear wheel. And then to go to drive, there is a switch underneath by this back pedal, by this brake pedal, that once it's engaged, uh, once it's depressed, it engages the parking uh, function on here which disengages the motor so you can change it from front to rear. So I'm going to press the brake and when I do you'll see a red light come up right there. All right that means I can put it in gear. So now we're in drive now and the wheels should spin as soon as I hit the gas. All right that's it. So she's ready. That's it. Sorry if it's out of focus. But yeah, that's it. And right now we're doing about six miles, seven miles an hour, 530, 588, eight miles an hour. And we're doing about 11 miles an hour. Right now we're doing about uh, 13 miles an hour. All right. And like I said, to go to reverse, all you do is just depress the brake, put in R for reverse. You go up there, look, and it goes in reverse now. It's not good for reverse. It's just hit the gas. I mean, hit the gas. Hit the hit the throttle. All right, so then we go back to uh, neutral. All right, and uh, that is it.
So, uh, then once you take this and turn it off, turn the key back, then it uh, turns the controller off. That's all you need to do. Uh, you... So, like I said, it's a little bit unrefined right now. We've got a lot more to do. Uh, we've got a lot more to tighten up. We've got a lot of things that are loose. We just got this thing barely. Uh, we got it put together. We got all the motors and I mean the motor and the, and the, um, and the transfer case and everything mounted tight. It's uh, we've got a few more loose screws and we have things to do like put our uh, you know wire loom around all of this wire and you know ground stuff. But for now, she is actually operational and uh, she's ready to go. So uh, this is our Tesla powered 2000 Ford F450 4x4.